is an Electrolux Dolphin 1000, although for most of the purposes of this video that is fairly irrelevant. You see inside of here is an Electrolux only really used the same motors from the 1970s past the 1990s and into the early 2000s and obviously this sits right in the middle. This will be the same for the upright motors as well in the twin turbo. I shall tell you what to do when we get there but these have three wires and connecting those three wires is a reefer suppression device. So our job today is to replace that with a modern one. And I shall tell you why I'm replacing it with a modern one and ask you a question TLDR where can I find new ones of these? They are eluding me completely and where I can find them they're very expensive and this is the last. So I thought we'd do it on camera hopefully someone can comment below where I can get these from and we can do some more so let's have a look Yes, hello! My in fact, you dear chums, how are you today? Are you enjoying the Electrolux Dolphin videos? They're certainly coming along well. And this one, as you can see, I haven't touched yet. It's still a fair... Exactly the same as it did before. This one actually... It's the better sounding of all of them, which is a little bit important. Perhaps I should have planned that a bit better because the transformation may not be quite so vast. But the goal is simple. We need to get our suppression device changed. But first, we have some taking apart to do. And this is the Electrolux Dolphin specific part of this video, I have to say. First of all, you need to take the bag door off and the tool door out and then find a screwdriver to take off the pedals. To take off the pedals they can be a little bit brittle but there are two tabs, one sort of there, one sort of there. Oh look I have just broken that one, how fabulous is that? You take these off, should be able to glue that back on, if not this one is ruined forever but hey I will be a little bit more careful with this one. There we go, take off that side as well. So both of those are off. Take out our springs because that will help later. And then undo the screws holding on the top trim. One, two, three and four. And then this trim should just pop off along with the button for the speed control. Then we can undo our four screws that hold the entire motor housing, cord rewind and everything else assembly into place and this back one here has to come out as well. And in theory, if you can get a grab of it, the whole thing this out like so in a very Electrolux way they have been known to do this before just have the whole thing in a big large end frame fantastic so we need to remove the black wire from the cord rewind yes we do Felix don't we let's stop smoking yeah that goes to the motor then we need to take off the red wire from the switch which also goes to the motor in fact no we probably don't because both of these really go to the same place what we should take off though is the one screw holding the switch into place like so in fact we can probably just get away with doing all of that really and if we take off the red wire from the cord rewind we have ourselves our motors going to the uh, start again our wires going to the motor and 
nothing else really needs to come apart in terms of wiring. We can leave everything else to the purposes of this motor refurbishment guide and undo these four screws. Lift off. Oof. Ah, oh, ooh, that's been on before. Someone's been here before or whatever. Not a sealant there, but our motor should come out of its shell, as should this, which looks very much like the whole thing's twisted and sat back down. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But we are now left with our pretty standard Lux cylinder motor, complete with a reefer that has already burnt out. Fantastic. Let's get this stripped down. I suppose it's in pretty good shape, all things considering. It is very dusty, however, so we will be having a look at that. But yes, here is our already burnt out reefer. These don't do what the Hoover ones do and stop the machine dead with a loud explosion. They just stink and they carry on going. everything dusted off and yes this is a <laughs> this is a very good motor we won't need to do too much here we can come over to our side clips and pop those off and same for all of the electrolux motors of this star whether you have a belt spindle coming out of the top or not this is all you can do because obviously in the uk they riveted the fans on so you can't do anything about that but you can take the top off and there are our carbon brushes you can then take the coil off and that's it this is as far as you can go and this one spins the best although it also still doesn't spin brilliantly but I might actually leave it sparing I've been spraying oil into the others because they've been really bad but this one has a very nice wind down sound so we're going to leave that bare we can just focus on this top one here and our coil how fast so the next thing that we need to do is to unplug the wires, the black wire, which will go back to the coil later, along with the black wire from the suppressor that I have. Oh. And then the blue wire will go to the red wire, oddly enough, because that's how it connects. And the red wire has its own connection to the other core wire. On a no speed control motor, it literally just a core wire to each side so it's easier to take apart but this way is why I need to ask people's opinions for do I just wire up the two motors the two wires to the same plug who knows right we need to now chop off a fair bit of our old reefer in order to make some space we need this bracket here to be kept pretty nice indeed I also want to try and not butcher the coil wire end because we don't have much end to play with so we'll take that off out from there then being a little bit careful to not get glass or whatever in my face we can take out the suppression device that's what i need look just a three wire because there has to be there's an earth point that we just ripped out because we're going to use its bracket for the earth strap from the new one and then two wires going in which is why this three wire works so well. What can I replace that with, folks? Who knows? Either way, we're not having another reefer in it now. No, 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 no. What we're going to do instead is I'm going to basically do my mod and show you how it looks. Basically, just soldering wires together. How boring. Then we should take the commutator with it on its armature, even, and we basically want to clean, and I use double zero gauge wire wool for this triple zero gauge whatever fine wire wool you're only knocking the black off anyway and eventually you will have something that looks 
a lot better and shinier. Then we can start to hash together our wiring. So we only have one coil wire to play with. I can say, do I just connect two wires to this one and everything will magically work? Please comment down below. But I have one last of these. So we'll get the heat going into this joint properly and wob the whole thing with solder and then hide all of our evils with heat shrink. There we go. Marvellous. And with the earth point soldered to its little strap there, we can put all the heat shrink back together and I'll show you how I mount these things tidily. With all that looking much better, we can drill two holes in there. Then what I like to do is to sort of manhandle the whole thing in and sort of push it on like so. Then with a couple of cable ties secured in place. You end up with this, using one of the cable ties to help secure the wires into place. They obviously run off to the coil. They don't do anything there. This bit here will constantly fall out of place. It's only sat in there. But yeah, do I just join this blue wire, which goes to the switch, and this black wire, which comes from the cord reel, to each other? And then, you know, into this one on the coil? I don't know. Comment down below, please, because... Well, this is what you have to do to every three wire electrolux. Or oh, Steve from the Vintage Appliance Emporium knows how to do these. Steve, would you mind doing a video to show us? Because I've got no more of these suppressors left. And I can't now do any more variable power three wire electrolux motors. How fab. But we've done this one. So it's time to piece it back together. And it only goes back on one way. As you can see, it will drop into place nicely when you get it aligned. What I then did was opened up the ends of the carbon brushes to pull the springs out. So that this will clear what we want it to clear. And I've also given all of the contacts a good old clean up. We'll take some oil. I'm only really going to do this top bearing because I can't quite be bothered to do any of the others. Nice big wad of oil because you need to work it in. That entire middle bit needs to start moving. And as soon as it does, you'll see your oil disappear. And then you go and drop it on the top. Ah, come on, centre. There we go. And then assuming it still turns, which it does, always check with your fingers, we need to take our side pieces bend them out a little bit more than I do are we? and then they will sit like that until you push them in and then yeah as you push them in they'll clamp down so we've got one side done this side should be good enough as it is and then yeah as you push them together they clamp the whole thing down with a little tap just to drop them into place and check that your motor still turns very very freely which this does. Marvellous. Big mess of wires now. But we can feed the carbon brushes back in and push all of the spring retainers back into place. And with our Electrolux motor rebuilt, the best that you can do with either a new suppressor or if you know how or it's just a twin wire, you've just got your wires soldered nicely to each of the coil wires for on-off goodness job done. Yeah. <sighs> Very nice indeed, and it's ready now, so well, I'll put it back into its dolphin outer shell. A short time later, we have ourselves most of an electrolux dolphin back together. I didn't bother putting the pedals back on because A, I've now got one to repair, B, you know, they're going to come off again anyway, shortly for me to wash and clean this up. 
But does it actually run? It does. Get the no hot air. And I knew not touching that bearing was a good idea. The top bearing is now smooth. And you have also desuppressed slash replaced the reefer slash removed it however you did this video on your Electrolux factory. Fantastic indeed. So stay tuned because now that I've done this little video on this one it too can be cleaned up and made to look pretty and I'll show you what it looks like after but the after videos for the other two dolphins will be landing soon so stay tuned subscribe so you don't miss that and I and this Luton lovely will see you soon bye bye